welcome, welcome back. We're back again with episode two, and I'm with another friend, dancers, Emily Lang. Stand <laughs> up. <laughs> so we're here with Mindo. Mindo. Clara. <laughs> so guys, I need to say this, right? Mindo is not big on social and all of those things, but she's worked with some of the biggest most iconic celebrities, or stars rather, not even celebrities, the most biggest stars I've worked with also in the industry. I've met her in the industry for donkey years. We've been here. <laughs> uh, we've worked for the most craziest productions. We've worked for the one rand. We've worked <laughs> for the 10 rand. We've worked for a lot of money. That's okay. Yeah, and the reason why I invited Mindo here today is because I want you guys to understand, Jorge, you know, when you want to get into the industry, it's not just about the numbers. Or maybe get wrong. I want Mindo to actually, you know, make us understand, Jorge, when you got into the industry, like, did you need numbers? Was social media there? How do you make it in the industry without social media? Like, I just want to understand, how do you make it as a dancer, specifically as a dancer? Dancers, like, let, let's talk, friend. Yeah. By the way, before, can, we introdu can you introduce us, uh, yourself? My name is Mindo Safafe, and yeah, I'm a dancer, choreographer, a chef, and more to come. There's more to come, <laughs> so okay. I can end it there. Yes, fine. Okay, cool. So, I'm sorry. No stress. So, tell me, you know, what I want to know before, let's get straight into it. Mm -hmm. As a dancer, do you think you need social media? Well, I can't speak for everybody, of course. No, but uh, I want to know then from I, you. I can tell you about me yeah. and what it was like back then when I started. Mm -hmm. I didn't need a large number of following. All I needed was hard work. And I say this because uh, the style that I got introduced to, it, got the industry, it was a style that I've never done before. You know, So I had to learn literally from scratch. And that's how I got into the industry. So also, remember this, I think it's not just you that, and the reason why I'm speaking to you is because mm -hmm. I remember there were tons of dancers, yeah. but I constantly saw you on a lot of videos. Yeah, you were always <laughs> there. Like the, the music video sitting at then, you were always there. So the reason also I'm asking is because, yes, you might have put in the hard work, you and a lot of other people, but why did a chunk of you guys make it and the rest not? It's not even a chunk that made it. I'd say like a handful of you guys made it. Why? What made you guys make it? And why did the other hundreds of thousands not make it? Mkhozi, um, if I'm honest with you, when we met, ne, there had already been a number of things that happened before that time. Mm -hmm. you know? So what happened before Nagoya actually plays a major part of in the whole story, for me yeah. at least. Right? Here's the thing. I come from, my background was actually contemporary, Afrofusion, you know, the rest. And then I got introduced into this side of the industry a bit later. That's when I met everyone. Which one is this side of the industry? Uh, your hip hop, your pantula, your, oh, okay. you know, that side of thing. I got introduced that a bit later and I was also new in Joburg. I knew no one, <laughs> literally nobody. So I say hard work because when I got into that world, Everybody, it's, it's almost like everyone know, knew what they were doing already. Mm -hmm. And I had to kind of learn from scratch. You know what I mean? And I had to kind of like find my own identity, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, find that thing that makes me mindle in a space where you have all the other big names I can mention, you know, the people I've worked with. And Please that was job. hard. I, I want you to name <laughs> job so people understand, you know, Hore, it's from the smallest person you work with you know, that leads to the biggest person? Like, wh who's, who's the biggest person you've worked for? The biggest person I've worked yeah. with? I'm sorry, I love you all, but then sharing stage with Beyonce was that one. <laughs> so I didn't work for Beyonce, but I shared oh. a stage with Beyonce because like, I was working How is that not big? That was big. Oh, well, I'm sorry. So I can't even like us. That was also... <laughs> on the same stage with Beyonce? Yes. What, what is um, this for? This was for Global Citizen. <gasps> yes, I remember that was yes. massive. Yes, I actually thought so it was not of even going to go. So, of everybody, let's choose a win. I got a call, and it was from London, and Sheesh. it was one of Tiwa's um, creative directors uh -huh. and choreographer, um, Esne. She's from, do you know CEO, CEO Dances? No. It's this, um, it, was, it was big. It okay. was big when they were still together. And the call was, hey, Tiwa's coming to SA. 
She's also opening for Beyonce. Tiwa Savage. Do you want a choreograph? And at that time, when that happened, everybody else around me was already working with this person, working with that person. You know, everyone had a wow. place and everyone wow. knew they were coming. And, and most of the dancers were still a case of, am I, how can I, you know? And I was chilling and then I got a call and I couldn't believe it. I was like, of course, yes. Then after that call, I then started getting like requests from other people, like, okay, can you come be a dancer and open for WizKid? And 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 unfortunately, uh, one of them was you know Jay Kayembe. Yes. And Kaya Creatives, I've worked with them for the longest time. I wow. love them, but I was called to be a dancer, and here I was called to be a choreographer. So I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I love was you. Was this your but first choreography work? No. Okay. No. You had already been in I it. had already been okay. around. I've worked with so many people, friend. I've choreographed with so many people. This always happens. Whenever you want to think of names, it's like, ugh. But yeah, I've choreographed with so many artists locally I mean, and I, internationally. I know this. I know this. I've worked with you, you know? Yes. Um, but now, also, what's the difference between being a dancer and a choreographer? And also, can you be a dancer and a choreographer? choreographer I can say yes and no okay you know and I want to make that clear just because you are a great dancer doesn't automatically make you a choreographer right um, like <laughs> no. what are the differences um, I don't want to take um, uh, hmm. I think I, I like uh, some in that position and explain it best but take cliche for an example okay yeah most of my uh, like work years I spend them being a dancer. Yeah. And then creative director, and then a choreographer, and then, and then, and then. But I feel like Shay has been a choreographer yeah. most of his life. Even uh-huh. when he was in the crew, he was still a choreographer. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I just think that's that. Also, it, your work needs to speak for itself. It, it, it needs to show that this person is a choreographer yeah. and he'll give you exactly what you want. Instead of being a dancer that can copy moves and put moves together and say, hey, I'm a choreographer. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, no, I hear you. So is, is a choreographer more of a teacher? More of a teacher. Oh, so choreographers creator, are the ones yes. that teach the dancers a teach dance. the dancers, creates the move, come oh, up with okay, some crazy things, you okay. know. That so is you are literally the leader of the team, practically. You lead the team, mm-hmm. and you conceptualize the moves. Yes. Ah, I get it, I get it, I get it. And so some of them even go as far as um, creating the whole set for even artists and, yeah. you know, camera work and everything. That's how much they put into it. So, so I think they deserve that <laughs> If I decided, Jorge, I'm a TikTok dancer, right? I'm a TikTok dancer, and I decided to start a trend. Yeah, dance, and it goes big. Does that make me a choreographer? <laughs> How? Good question. I can't answer that. I'm not a dancer. I really want to know. I'm sorry now, nah, guys. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I love TikTok. I love TikTok. I think TikTok has some of the most amazing dancers, performers. But <laughs> so it doesn't just because I'm on TikTok and I'm. And then it goes viral. Doesn't automatically make you the greatest, you know, like a professional dancer or a choreographer. I'm sorry, I don't mean to start no fight, <laughs> but that's just how I feel, friend. Yeah. Understand? We went. Okay, I went to school. Some people might not have, but they've put years and years into the craft. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And we've learned, and we've trained, and we've put blood, sweat, and tears to end up on some of your major um, stages in life, right? Yeah. And then. And you got there because you put all that. And then you come, Clara, <laughs> with your 14,000 <laughs> followers. And then you do Mnege. And then the next day, did I just say how old I am? I referenced Mnege. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yes, right? <laughs> you do that, it goes viral. And then all of a sudden, we put on to the same, onto the same stage. I don't think that's fair. You don't think it's fair? I don't think it's fair. Okay, I don't so think it's fair because as pro dancers, we understand how he, like we understand how much we need to put in as a team yeah. and how clean it needs to be as a team yeah. for us to deliver this amazing work, you work. know. 
Now, having someone who's not yet <laughs> worked their way there can be a little bit of a drag to the whole team, if I'm being yeah. honest, especially when usually we only have about, say we have, for example, summers and stuff. Some days we had only a week or, you know, eight days or whatever, you know, to put all the numbers together. So we were all in like, we were all on it. Like we were like, okay, we gotta get this. This is your strength, this, you know, that's how it works. So now when you bring someone who hasn't yet experienced it, you know, I'm not saying they won't become a greatest dancer later on, they won't be clean, they won't, you yeah. know, be one of us. I'm just saying at that time, you bring the person in just because the person has this large following and then you put them in and expect us to, you know, her to do well. It's, it's do you feel like social media is kind of blurring the professional dance side and is putting street dance on the forefront? Do you think they promote more self-taught dancers more than the dance at Zilin Koskoro? Do you also feel like, or do you, yeah, do you also think dancers that actually studied and went to school don't get as much recognition anymore, like right now? Mm, I don't know where I'm at with that one. I'll tell you what, I never really cared that much mm -hmm. uh, what social media said, especially when it come, came to Minecraft. You know, I just cared more about the people that I was working with and if the show was, like, reached our expectations, if we gave it our all. I never really... No, I can't blame social media on that. What I do have a problem with will be the people that now hire dancers. Okay. Yes, that I have a problem with. Who but hires social dancers? media... I say before the choreographer can... Hmm? Is it not choreographers that bring the dancers? No, I mean, uh, people behind the scenes. I mean, your oh, clients, you know, people yeah. that part. So clients actually handpicked dancers? <sighs> it became a thing towards um, the past, I think, five or something. For music okay. videos, you have to send your pictures. And sometimes mm. they don't even know, like, if you're a great dancer or not. Just because your pictures look bomb, you got the job. It's because you're sexy, <laughs> you know, your yeah. waist is the tiniest, you got the job. I think That's why it for started music, coming for music videos. I, I think I kind of get that because I get there's an aesthetic that they're trying to pull. They're trying to but sell, you know, a bit of sex there. So I, I kind of get it for that. But when it comes to corporates, when it comes to corporates, because I also right now see a lot of TikTokers, all these street dancers, self-taught dancers, you know, getting to the corporate space and, and, Luna, as professionals, do you feel like it's still necessary for you to go to school for dance? Is it still yeah. a thing? Does it help? I personally still think you, yeah. Okay, so I'll say yes. If I go to school today. I mean, why not? If you were born with it, you were born with it. You know, you can yeah. still work hard there. Are so many people giving classes, you know, all that. You can do all the work without actually going to a dance school. Mm. But I think... If you love what you do so much and you want to know almost everything about it, and, you know, you just want to equip yourself with as much knowledge about it as possible, then why not? If you can, because dance schools are also, art schools are expensive. Yeah. If you can, then go. go. So if I go to school mm -hmm. for dance, go back to guy. Go back to TikTok. Girls don't understand the way am I going to work. Go back to TikTok or America, what happens then? Uh, like I said, Clara, I, I really don't know much about but I can tell you about me. Yeah. I went to school, yes. Oh, that school felt like a military school. Yeah. <laughs> it's so strict, the dance school is so strict, yeah. right? I went from school and then I think six months into it, I was now chosen to perform for getting what what cup what is it confederation what is it went ever twenty eleven it's that yeah. one right <laughs> with this other artist and at that time he was big yeah it's that song when I get older I really oh know yeah oh yeah that him. was massive yeah I was chosen to work alongside the him twenty ten World Cup that one Dope. also during that time. 
I worked with Losha Losha Kuba. Oh, nice. She right, was massive. Right? Yeah, she she was a thing. And she's still, she still a beast is. in my Amazing. eyes. And no, that time, is. I started working with everyone that I had dreamed of working with before I even left <laughs> Kohai. Yeah. Tequilabo. I had just only got to Jobek. So already I started doing stuff that I also was like not ready for. Yeah. And, that, and I started theater and stuff like that. But then I realized <laughs> when I saw, I think it was during World Cup. Yeah. Okay, I always do this. I don't know how not to tell the truth. I want to say it. Just say don't it. to me. And nobody's going to hate you. <laughs> oh we only have four followers, friend. I don't know. I don't have to tell you. I don't have to But right no. now, nobody knows anything. They're going to keep it to themselves. I just have fun. Even if you guys find out. So, it was 2010, right? Yeah. And then man Shakira. Shakira yes. was around, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Both words are my, you know, I work in both words. But okay, to put it nicely, Blankly, uh-huh. I just felt, I said nicely, friend. Yes. I just felt like. <laughs> nicely and blank. <laughs> um, it's amazing. You're a strong dancer, Gilavan, mm-hmm. a contemporary, whatever, whatever. I felt like that one needs, needed, like, but I lose my hand, man. Oh yeah. Like what if I the energy is different, let me put it that way. Yeah. Different kind of energy and a different kind of dances. Okay. Right? Because but just now, man, it's not it's not contemporary. Yeah. Like I felt like they were not the right people. Yeah. For the job. Yeah. Then I was like, okay, why do you say that then? Keep yeah. among the right people. I started doing my research and I found Bolishe. Wow. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. In some way, and then I started learning a bit more about that world. And then I went to my Fiki Zolo's audition, and that was the beginning of everything wow. on this side of things. Okay. Because I started working with my Fiki Zolo, and the style was different. Yeah. So now I had to to learn more about that. Okay. <laughs> about their style. That's, that's nice. So, um, in terms of uh, are music videos, are, are still a thing. Do people still do music videos with dances and, you know, what used to be? What used to be? I don't know, but I don't know. I just know that if I'm involved, I would like it to be, to just be like how we used to do it. I yeah. want enough training sessions, you know, rehearsal but since sessions. But since and not, you know, people I, I work with do understand how yeah. I work and they do, they do what I ask them to so do. So the market is still there. Because I'm asking for the so. person. No, no, no. The reason why I'm asking is someone who did sing and that mm-hmm. wants to study dance, you know? Mm-hmm. So I just want that person to know the facts. When they go to school, do people still shoot music videos? Like, what's going on right now? Or is it a waste of time? Should they just go and, you know, dance mm-hmm. on social media and showcase what they have? Maybe somebody would headhunt them. So, you know, I just, wanna, I, I just want some insight. Jorge. As a dancer, mm-hmm. you know, for me to find myself on a stage with a uh, Uncle Waffles, Gilly Backup Dance, what does it take? Do I need to go to school? Do I just need to showcase what I do on the socials? Mm-hmm. You know, is it still a thing to be a professional dancer? It'll forever be a thing to be a professional dancer. There will always be want. space for professional dancers. Okay. But at the same time, things have changed. Social media is a big platform, honestly. Yeah. So your people do find work. You know? Has it changed the game? It can, yeah, I guess it can uh, change the game because it was very hard to join a company back then. It was yeah. very hard to, you know, part of shows back then. But now, it's like you said, socials, it's man. easier because people know you from social media. And it, okay. it's easier to meet all kinds of people on social media. And from just having a conversation, you know, at, for my DMs, you can take me from DMs to stage. Okay. So and then the power of social media. So also... Another thing I want to know, as much as we can, you know, you know, praise the socials and the self-taught dancers, mm-hmm. where do you think, actually, it's not even a thought, you would know you're a dancer. As a dancer, which industry is the most lucrative? Is it, you know, just street dance, doing appearances, ing ing? Is it theater work? Is it still, you know, working with king? what do you call it, artists, you know, backing them as dancers. 
where where can I get in? This is actually a lucrative um, route for dancers. For me, if I'm being honest, uh, my biggest check came from cop corporate. corporate. Okay. My biggest check came from And you need to be corporate. professional for corporate. But, yeah? Yes, you do need to be professional. Okay. So but if I can important. say this, also, it mattered who was behind... Um, behind the check. If it was a black person, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the truth. If it was a more black owned or white people. Okay. White team. Let me put it that way. Okay. Okay. We need to learn, you know? I'm sorry, I had to say it. <laughs> it's no, the truth. No, don't be sorry, um, you know? How do we learn if we don't share these things? Yeah, no, I'm, you know? I'm telling the truth from everything. Like, it was okay and it felt fair for the, uh, felt fair for me um, that they expected a certain level for me and they expected this for me because they were also pulling in the way. They were yeah. delivering what they say they're gonna deliver. They were there, they were on time. Mm -hmm. Your pay was what your pay is. Hardly ever heard stories about what, you know, yeah. people charging your money or whatever. So on the other side, they were, mm, which needs to change really, because it's still happening till today. On the other side, there's still that thing of giving more than what you're getting. Yeah. There's still no budget, no budget, no budget. The first time I ever heard um, working with um, the other team, yeah. <laughs> the first time I heard them say, complain, and they were so sorry, like, oh, Mindo, I know you're worth more than this. I'm so sorry. Ugh, this budget is not. I looked at it and I was like, damn, that, that's actually double what I was. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, that's what you call no budget. I want to stay there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and this that's was just the, the truth. The Caucasians, <laughs> the other team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's that's it's very interesting to know. So actually, so we should be saying kids go to school. This is go important, to school, guys. Go to school. Being um, as a flexible, dancer. it's nice. Being versatile will get you checks. Ah, I think that's the most important. There we are, um, actually. Yeah. That's good that's to know. That's the most important advice I can give dancers. Be versatile. Be, Be versatile. versatile. Okay. And mm -hmm. school will give you that. Mm -hmm. Oh, even if you don't go to school, just attend classes. You know? That's yeah. what I said. Like, you have to put in everything you've got into it if you want to make it back. And if you want, even also if you want to last. Yeah. Put everything into it. Go to classes, you know? watch like now we have you know, live whatever on Instagram yeah. watch them train ask you know like Shani trains like crazy and she Who's was funny? born with it my daughter oh nice she okay she was born with it oh nice but I make sure that she keeps training and she would you like her to be a dancer I didn't want that for her, but she chose it. She told me straight up that she's going to be a gonna, dancer. She she's going to study abroad, and she's going to do one of the biggest shows because she said I've done everything that I show, she'll do more. That's right. Amazing. <laughs> sure, because dance has literally taken over the world. Let's be honest. I mean, if you look at any social media platform, number one, my piano, but also I don't think personally, I don't think my piano would be where it is if it wasn't for dance moves. The reason why it's trending is because of the okay. dance moves mm. behind it. So I personally feel like, I mean, my daughter's also, she's so talented in so many things, mm. but it's like everyone is so obsessed with dancing. And Can I, I want to know. Can I yeah, her? she goes to dance class every Saturday. She does so many things. She does, you know, contempt, she does ballet, mm. and then she obviously does TikTok. I, I think that's <laughs> yeah, also. Yeah, TikTok is fun. Dance mm. is big. And so many companies realized that, like, a long time ago, that dance is big, you know? We didn't realize until now. I think it's been a while now. Handsome thing, we, we didn't realize how massive, how, like, what a thing dance was until Hone Anung. I mean, we've seen movies, we've seen all these things, but I'm only getting it now that, you know... Really? Yeah. Only now. I, I knew. Because it's your industry. Some, yeah. I got to a certain level and I was like, is this, is this all? Is it, you know, what's happening? Is, is, am I here now? Is this the end? Then I realized like, uh-uh, there's way more. Yeah. And I just, then made, that made me realize just how big dance is. And I just went in for it. 
So where to from here with you in terms of dance? In terms of dance? Yeah. I really enjoy receiving that call before an artist even thinks of what the concept of that music video is or even land an essay to come perform or even let people know that he's performing. I love it. Okay. I love it. I love it. So you'll still I be like choreographing? Being behind. Yes, I love it. Mm. I'll stay behind. I will be in front of the camera. Yeah. But then I, I'm sorry. Right now, me being in front of camera has to go with what my beliefs are and what I want for myself. Yeah. I think I've earned <laughs> enough. <laughs> You know, yeah. I think I've earned that enough to be able to choose what's best for me and what I want. I'm not being in front of camera and dancing in front of camera if I feel like you still take me and my craft for, for granted. I'm sorry, it's not happening. Because even with everyone I work with, <sighs> knowing that I did this for so long and knowing the things that I wanted to change that time, I know how to treat them and I know what they should get, yeah. you know, what they deserve. So, yeah, when it comes to dance, I, I want new stuff. Yeah. I really want new stuff. What's, what's new? Um, what do you mean, holy new stuff? Mm, dance movie, I've done that, but I, won't, I wouldn't mind being on a second dance movie. Really? Uh, Would you want to be on a on a dance movie as, you know, as a dancer or choreographing the dance moves on the movie? I'm still in my honey face. I want to be a dancer okay. <laughs> and an actress. That would yeah, be. That, that would be I want to be. Okay. Uh, just because the first one, I felt like, oh, uh, but there was still more. Yeah. You know, we could do so. Based on that, I wouldn't mind being in another movie. Uh, and then I want to teach. I want to teach and travel more with dance. Are you opening a school? What's going on? You know how many moms <laughs> call me about that? So many people. I don't know if there's something that people are seeing that I'm not yet aware of. Yeah. I don't know, but everyone has been asking me to do that, you know. Maybe it will happen so a bit later. I have a lot of things right now. I, I have a lot, Clara, on my plate. That's why. That is a lot of work. That's me saying, I promise to be in studio every Wednesday or Thursday to teach your children, yeah. you know, especially in the beginning before you, like, find your team, you know, or you hire a team. It's you. And right now, the way my life is set up, I cannot promise to be there on Wednesday. There's so yeah. much happening. So I don't think so. Oh, but when the time comes, you are mm -hmm. oh, tough cookies to our kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Osimindo. This was, uh, yeah, a handful mm -hmm. and nice to know for the dancer girl fella. Um, I, I, I love everything that you've said. I love the fact that you've worked so hard and you're still so humble. And whether we know it or not, sheesh, you have gone through a lot in terms of the dance industry. You've gone through a lot, don't take it for granted. And I also feel like you procrastinate a lot mm -hmm. in terms of this side of the, the industry. It loves you, but I don't think you give it as much love. This side, I wanna it understand that. Dance. Oh, well. dance? Yeah, no. I think the industry's, the industry's loved you so much. Yeah, and I'm gonna call you out, you know, <laughs> in front of everyone. I think you need to love it back. You need to love it back. In the famous words of Zeke Spantrini, time waits for no man. <laughs> okay, Woo! can I just say this? If I didn't love it, I wouldn't still be involved. You know, I know I'm not as you involved. You don't love it as much. I'm not saying you don't. Guys, I've been dancing not since I was six years old. I was six years old. I started competing, competing when I was seven years old. And I've danced and worked that hard until I've only been on break for four years, five years. But you know what the crazy years. part is? You are at a, you are on break, like you call it, at your most fragile place. Like you are peaking. You can't take a break while you're peaking. Oh, that's where you're wrong. What you, you saw think? is me peaking. Girl, I was already on the other side. No, no. And... 
Boxing. No, that's just the truth, babes. That's just the truth. Because what you see is not always the what, truth. Yeah, you know, it's not always 100%. what's happening. Yeah. And that's just what I want everyone to understand. Mm -hmm. You okay. see me on every stage performing doesn't automatically automatically mean everything is perfect and I've got it all together. 100%. No, I'm going home broke. Sure. Public dancing for 2,000, and I'll need to pay 6,000 rent. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's so many things that need to happen, you know, to support your growth. Mm. So no, you don't see me on stages right now as much as you used to. But the things that I'm doing are bigger. Okay. For an example, no, I shouldn't do this. But I'm you gonna should. do it. Yeah. <laughs> Just to put my point across, yeah. right? I did so much work during COVID. I was literally, I uh, this sounds some type of way because I don't like being that, that type of a person. But then I did so much work behind the scenes that when COVID hits, I was ready to help out dancers because that's how much I like, I love Whoa. about dancing. Sure. Financially, mentally, I was there and I didn't expect anything back. Sure. You know, I just wanted them to be up. That's because of that. I reached out during COVID to so many people, gave so many ideas, introduced so many things, you know, um, programs to them, and waited to hear from them. And when COVID hit, I was like, okay, you're putting in the mark. I mean, it's all good. And some people were laughing and saying the same thing, like, you, what do you want to do? What are you going to do? But then, for an example, we all know about Timmy, right? Mm -mm, I'm not sure. Knowing that Timmy was coming back, he was Dre, Dre on Ghost. No Ghost. Yeah. How dare you not know him? Do you guys know him? Yeah. You know him. Yeah. I got a call. I didn't believe it. Yeah. And he was like, "Yo, means I'm coming to SA. What's happening, dancers? Wow. What's up? Do you understand what I'm saying? So what you see, what people are looking at as." Oh my gosh, you're doing it. It's not what I'm, it's not it. Yeah. And that's how I felt. I wanted so much. I didn't want to be broke. <laughs> I didn't yeah. want to be another broke dancer. Sure. I made, I did something about it. Yeah. I wanted to be comfortable. I did something about it. I wanted to be in this space now that I told you that I'm so, I'm in that. Yeah. <laughs> that she said she's in her best place. I am. Yeah. And I can. God is good, so I'm just gonna say it. And yeah. that is financially, mentally, That's beautiful. maybe physically, we're still dealing with issues, <laughs> you know? That's beautiful, yeah. But I am. That's the aim. I am, because being always being there, friend, where there's a show in there when you're there, you, mm. people don't realize how much time, like for yourself, that you're taking away from yourself. Sure. You don't have enough time to work on your own dreams, your own plans, to grow as much as, you know, You'd as you to. want, if, as you love to. Yeah. But by stepping uh, stepping back, I was able to work on those things. And I was actually able to work on the biggest programs I've ever, or projects that I've ever dreamed I'll work on. So I don't feel a certain way. That's why I said I don't care about social media and what it says. Mm -hmm. I know the truth, and that's where it stays. I love that. Sure. In closing. Oh, yeah. So last day. Okay. Don't listen to her. It's nothing. That thing of, oh, you're fragile, you... <laughs> Ma'am, you can be 34, 48, 160. Don't listen to this woman. If you're a great dancer and you're good at what you do, you still have more years to go. That, that's what I was trying to tell them. <laughs> 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 so, but before, in the last, before closing, yeah, I want to know, one answer, yes or no, <laughs> is dance is the dance industry lucrative like wh can you make a lot of money from it like can you make proper money from dance yes if you give yourself time to speak like to people like me oh don't say i didn't plug you and that's it for today it's beautiful having you <laughs> are you gonna give me a hug thanks for having me babe. thank that you next fine. week again same time I wonder if you're man, but yeah, we're in black behind the scenes talking to people that make the industry. And we're out. Bye. Damn it.